Let's go up to Matt Perino. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the women's flyweight division. Sponsored by Trio 5. Visit Trio 5 for all your rolling paper needs. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, three wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 124.8 pounds, fighting out of Biloxi, Mississippi, presenting Monica Bonamacron-Modina. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker, holding professional record, three wins, one loss. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 124 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, Netherlands, presenting ISIS, fight queen for me. Frank Muir asked Isis what her favorite uh, submission is, and she said the yes. omoplata. Blew me away. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I figured she'd say taps to strikes. <laughs> that would be more appropriate. Or rear naked choke, elbowing somebody until they give you their back. But no, nope, she likes to throw the leg up over and attack the shoulder. That's a pretty intricate move for a kickboxing specialist. <laughs> See, Isis just. Getting up to that track already. The Suerdo Mezcal on our, on our mat. And I'm curious to see what Monica's entry is going to be. Obviously, we all know she wants to get it to the ground. But how? What are you going to look up? Are you going to look up maybe taking one of the kicks and catching and throwing it down? Are you going to try to set up with a clinch? Um, you know, hopefully not just a shot from really far away. But what are we going to do to get this fight out of... Ice for yeah. Beats uh, wheelhouse, so she's not in her strength, which is standing right in front of her. They're both downloading information here, but you got to think that that favors the one with more information and more experience to access. 100%. Um, the more she's been in this experience, even though it's different rules and all her experience in kickboxing, it's still the, the mental chess, or, you know, the, uh, the physical chess of standing in front of somebody and going, all right, I threw my jab. What, how did you react to it? When I threw my low kick or I faked my low kick, what was your reaction? What are you going to try to do? And I'm starting to build game plan upon game plan with that information presented to us. Frank, sometimes we'll hear, and, and I see it beginning to happen here, we'll hear the term that ISIS will look to break her rhythm. What the, how can we explain that? Well, people have a rhythm to how they do techniques. If they throw their jab to their cross, how they do their movements. If you can sit there and throw somebody off, throw off their rhythm to where, okay, their natural defense is to see this indicator, you're going to be able to fit through. And it's very akin to people that understand baseball like a changeup. You throw in a speed ball, people get used to that rhythm. Then all of a sudden, the same motion comes forward and the ball's not there. The changeup, it throws people off. Another thing, too, guys, let's not forget, I've watched Mirko Prokop get knocked out by Randleman. Sometimes when you're so lauded in one area that people can get caught lazadaisical or unprepared that all of a sudden, let's see if Monica, you know, shoots in, changes levels, and comes up with a lead hook. That's still there and still a probability. You can tell Isis is waiting for Monica to enter. She knows Monica wants to come to her to try to get this fight to the ground. And if somebody doesn't enter, you go with what she's doing there, with throw a couple of low kicks and force them to have to move forward. And I think actually Monica's best choice is, you know what, engage in a stand-up fight. Let's get uh, Isis for to think that we're going to be have a kickboxing match and then get the takedown. From this distance, those kicks will keep coming. And if you're Monica Medina, hanging out at a kicking range is not going to benefit her either. So she's got to move forward soon, and she knows that. She's probably feeling that pressure now. Well, and, and the late kicks are more of an accumulation damage. Very rarely do you see someone just land the first and only late kick on the, the, the quad and it end up dropping somebody. Usually it's accumulation of damage. You're taking shot after shot and the leg seizes up. So you can take a little bit more chances with those. Uh, the kicks to the body or to the head, they can end you in one shot. Yeah. 
you're seeing now Monica is able to to just stay a little bit ahead now she doesn't need to react anymore she can anticipate correctly what is coming and so she's gonna start lighting up in this last minute which may give give uh, Monica a chance to get underneath I like that combination nice is just through she faked a low kick and came up after loading with a left hook Interesting that Monica has not made any, and not even a feint to, to, to show a takedown. Uh, could that be she's lulling her in, uh, get her to fall asleep? You know, sometimes, you know, everybody in the very first two minutes, you're going to see what they've been doing for the last eight weeks. That's the game plan they implement. That's the strategy. That's what comes in, hopefully. And then after about two minutes, people start reverting back to what they were months and years ago to what their style is. Mm -hmm. That sort of combat identity that has developed over the years starts to show itself. Yeah, it's easy at first to control because right now your oxygen levels are high, you're still able to use your, uh, your, 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 your the part of your brain that allows you to think that internal dialogue. But as the fight wears on, as you start to go deeper into it, the more of your instincts, the reptilian brain is the only thing you're really operating on. Just a little there, Isis did block to draw punches to be able to answer. But even though it hasn't been the frenzied fight yet, you gotta think from the outside that Isis feels like she's winning this round. I think she's, she's landed the shots that have landed. She's thrown some decent combinations. Yeah, fights like this make me nervous as a cornerman because one movement from either person can win this round. Mm. Uh, Isis hasn't sealed it away to enough that if she were to get caught with a shot right now by Monica and it stunned her, uh, the first person to get stunned before this round is definitely the, uh, the loser of this round. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky one, though. If you were, uh, uh, that's a slow, I, uh, uh, if you were uh, Isis's team and you said, we're going to just pick away around one and she'll stay hesitating on the outside, we'd like our chances from that. I think she's probably pretty happy with the way that round went. Uh, maybe expect a little bit more uh, entries from Monica, and which would open up some counter strikes from her. But uh, I'm curious to see what Monica's strategy will be coming into the second round because I didn't see a lot of strategy being implemented by her. I, I saw a fight a little bit more survival mode, in my opinion. Somebody was sitting there going, okay, I don't want to get caught with any big shots. They go out there, look for things, strike, but didn't commit to anything. And, and really didn't commit to taking a shot. I don't even think, like you said, we didn't, I didn't catch an indication of any kind of shots that she's trying to take. You're seeing, there was one punch that, that snuck through for Monica Medina as Isis was backing up, but in the little exchanges, you saw some of the micro of what makes Isis a higher level striker. Entering during uh, punches, moving away at different times, stepping away at different times, hard to predict. Well, and one thing you pointed out, she was able to use her forearm to block a shot. She stayed right there so that she was within distance. That's an indicator of a high level striker. How can I stay just close enough to you where you don't hit me, but I'm not so far away that I can hit you? Oh, so she, yeah, she, she turns the corner yeah. twice. Excellent take down. Yes, and, and, and Frank said she turned the corner, which for the audience at home, you see just literally that angled movement to take her off her leg. She did it twice. The first she time did. she was stopped. And that's the thing sometimes you got to teach fighters. Like, hey, you're on doing the, the platter, right. Frank. Yeah, she's, she's going to the platter, but Monica has her knee trapped in there right now. Oh, she pulled it back up. So she's got to clear that left hand underneath her armpit or at least off to the side. And she does. And right now, if I was more Monica, I'd step back hard with my right hip and then step over the top. A lot of times you heard the expression sumo stepping because you take that big step over the top of someone's leg so you can go from being inside guard to being now in the half guard top position. Dan, she's in a gym that you own. Are you seeing her grappling regularly? constantly preparing for this fight? You always try to put fighters that, that, that are inexperienced in one area of mixed martial arts and in, in trouble in that situation, make them fight for their lives as much as you can so they can get better at it. So yeah, absolutely, she's been she's in that position. She seems like she's fairly comfortable in there, but it's more of Monica not doing a lot on top to keep, make her uncomfortable. Uh, and that could be a problem with Monica. You, hear you got the takedown, you gotta do something. Oh, nice hammer yeah. Yeah. So she chose uh, correct me if I'm wrong, she chose the punch rather than settling into the position, but it was a hard punch, maybe a good trade. Yeah, I like the shot that she threw. Uh, the only thing is I would have liked to have seen her step into the half guard position. It's easier to get offense going from there, and uh, I think that right now her stepping back into Isis's full guard is slowing her down. But she's on top, mm -hmm. she's winning this round now because that shot she landed with the hammer fist coming down. And uh, you know, the longer it stays here, the better she's going to do. And also, 
Isis has trained thousands of hours kickboxing. She's been training the last couple months now, 11 months of doing ground fighting. Her muscles that she uses for ground fighting aren't as, as conditioned as her kickboxing muscles. So here, keeping her hips in a constant tension of flexion, her ankles, the front of her, uh, her shin, all these are things that could get fatigued and tired being in these positions that she hasn't, you know, counted as many hours at. And it's mentally fatiguing. Yes. It's stressful, you're not in a familiar area, uh, because again, you know, familiarization makes you much more comfortable with certain situations. So she hasn't acclimated as much to these areas. She's up fast. A little bit of space that she needed, she kicked off, good job of getting up. Did not take much damage on the ground. Um, but again, there's two and a half minutes yeah. of a round in the bank for Monica. And also now it's like, hey, I can take you down. Yes. You know, if, if Isis was, you know, operating off the belief that, oh, you won't be able to get me down to the ground. Uh, Monica has shown that, well, no, I can put you down on your back. And we'll see if that ends up lighting a fire under uh, Verbeek's uh, offense. Going, hey, when you're on your feet, you better make it count. Or is it going to make her pull back? And right now it looks like it's the, the, the former. It's there's so much push and pull. It is fighting is constant dynamic interaction between different people, different movements, different body parts. Now, presumably, Dan Monica will move forward. So Verbeek with the back step uh, go, uh, look to throw uppercuts and hooks, perhaps. I, I imagine Monica's corner told her she was down around after that first uh, round. So she comes out, gets the quick takedown, gets a couple round, a couple minutes of control time. But she did not build a big lead, so there's no. plenty of time here for Isis to take it back. If Monica is smart, she'd probably be looking for one more takedown to secure the round. Yeah, another takedown. I, I'm going down. We're completely seal it away right now. Giving it to her, but a couple of those chalk roundhouses might start going ahead and mm -hmm. leaning back towards the direction of uh, Isis. Isis is switching stances oh, very oh, well. Oh, 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 a knee up the over. middle. That's that is that, it. That was a bad, brutal, move. ugly knee. Wow. That was <laughs> a hard shot. That was a rough shot. That was a, you put me on my back longer than I wanted to be, and I'm very frustrated. Here's a payback. <laughs> Here's a mean one. And she's wound, too. That feeling of being helpless on your back is a very unfamiliar feeling, and it is a very emotionally troubling feeling, especially for somebody who usually fights standing up, punching and kicking. She experienced that, and then she came back from it. We, we did ask her, hey, what would your training partner say you're good at? And she said, knees. Nice. She did, she called it out, said that knees are one of the most dangerous weapons, which as uh, far as uh, universally in all the different combat sports where knees are allowed, they are the most the highest knockout percentage weapons you can throw. I think if we get a look at Monica, I think the nose is a, a slightly different shape than it was before that knee. Yeah, you see that, that indent in the front of the nose? Oh yeah, she's broke. Yeah, we come back from that. It's, it becomes part of our story as we look in the in the mirror every day. It is uh, something a, a fighter can wear with pride for the rest of their life. She fought hard. She she was able to get down. She should be very proud of this fight. Ooh, you got to be easy on that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds left in round number two, declaring the winner by TKO Isis, Fight Queen Barbie! Max going to chat with her. I definitely want to see the replay on that knee a couple of times.